My country is beautiful with breathtaking mountain ranges, deep valleys, and low-lying coastal areas. But over the last 15 years, I have witnessed the escalating trails of destructions left in the wake of floods, rising sea, landslides, and more. We have always experienced moderate temperatures, heavy rainfalls, and high humidity, and we used to have two equally marked seasons, dry and rain. When I was young, the rainy season kept us cool enough to play football, and the rains nourished agricultural production where indigenous crops thrived. But as climate change has intensified, more frequent and prolonged dry spells have threatened our food security. Due to rising sea levels, flooding now occurs yearly and is far more severe. Floods contaminate our drinking waters, spreading sicknesses and diseases. People living in disaster-prone areas constantly worry about their homes being destroyed. Most lights that damage buildings and infrastructures are now common. In 2017, nearly 1,000 people were killed and over 3,000 were displaced in our overcrowded capital, Freetown. Least developed countries face the largest damages from climate change proportionate to the size of our economies and face financial losses of hundreds of billions each year. The impact of climate injustice severely affects people's lives. We urgently need nations across the world, particularly the richest nations whose heavy emissions have caused this damage, to take leadership and provide dedicated financial support to address the far-reaching loss and damage caused by climate change.